Hello everyone, welcome to Afro News South Africa. If you are coming across this channel for the first time, you are very much welcome. Please do us well by subscribing and sharing our videos. Do not forget to hit on the notification bell so that you would be notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you all. There is a sense in which the debate of our body politic that was sparked off by tourism minister Lindiwe Sisulu's comment is at this point in time degenerating into a fiery exchange of scurrilous attacks between politicians. This was after a member of parliament resorted to unbecoming conduct towards President Cyril Ramaphosa earlier today. In his weekly letter from the president's desk, Ramaphosa subtly spoke about a need for South Africans to protect the constitution, the democratic state and the electoral process from those who have the ulterior motive of subverting the rule of law. In French, the president in diplomatic terms addressing the decisive and utterly irrational comments that Sisulu uttered in her article about 10 days ago, she came on very hard on the constitution and the judiciary, claiming that they have not assisted in the cause to emancipate black people from the sea of poverty, squalor and deprivation. Meanwhile, EFF's Naledi Chiwa, who is ironically a spiritual daughter of a controversial fugitive, Prophet Shepard Major Wan Bushuri, took to microblogging site Twitter to launch an unnecessary missive against the president. In shocking but somewhat predictable terms, she referred to the president as a little boy, accusing him of sending his allies to collapse Sisulu's argument. You are such a weak little boy. All your fellow stooges you sent to collapse Lindiwe were collapsed themselves. It won't be surprising if you do what little boys do when overpowered by women. Throw the tantrum we are expecting it. You will forever remain a toothless boy. A boy is a boy, Chiwa posted on her official Twitter account. Chiwa's comments elicited extreme from South Africans on Twitter who absolutely processed her. Although some were lenient in their criticism, others could not resist the temptation of making the matter about her country of origin. It is an undeniable, indisputable fact that her parents were immigrants from Malawi who came to South Africa before the democratic dispensation. Albeit, she was born in 1993 in the East Rand, now a Kuhuleni. Many did not care about it as they suggested that she be deported back to Malawi. Others jokingly suggested that she should follow her spiritual father Bushiri, who acrobatically skipped South African borders with his wife. <laughs> 